It's your boy, Benny. Is this the day that the meme died? Did Jeffrey Epstein actually kill himself? Will we never be privy to more incredible moments on live TV like this one? Get him a beer, everybody, and I'd love to buy you one as well on me in Yuma, Arizona. Thank you so much, James. Yeah. And remember, Epstein didn't kill himself. Okay, got it. <laughs> 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 Even the like straight laced toasts are like, yeah, buddy, because of course Jeffrey Epstein killed himself unless uh, you are a member of the federal government and all of your bosses were Jeffrey Epstein's best clients and you need to do a mop up job for them. That is what the federal government did today. After many years, the federal government's Department of Justice Inspector General report dropped and it dropped just this morning. The feds have concluded that Jeffrey Epstein did in fact kill himself. Oh, interesting. How, ha, what a shocker that one is. That the people who were Jeffrey Epstein's best buddies, all of whom benefited greatly from Jeffrey Epstein's death because once you're dead, no one can sue you. You can't talk to anyone. You can't give any data. You can't make any deals. You can't be held liable when you're dead and six feet under. Yeah. All those people compiled this little report here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, said, don't you worry about it. No, no, no. Jeffrey Epstein just killed himself because there was negligence and the Manhattan jail cell failed to assign him a cellmate. Yeah, see that it's just we broke every single rule that we have. And it's not like this was a high profile guy or anything. It's not like this guy had tried to commit suicide a couple of times or had had his neck wrung in a different prison. No. They had uh, to take other precautions leading up to his death in 2019, according to newly unveiled federal investigation. Epstein, already convicted sex offender from Florida, died in a metropolitan correctional center in New York in August 2019 while awaiting federal trial for sex trafficking. While finding flaws in the Bureau of Prisons and its staff members, the report also uncovered no evidence to contradict the designation that Epstein's death was a suicide. And by suicide, we mean Hillary Clinton with a mustache sneaking into a cell while the cameras were off. Did you know that the cameras were off? Who turned the cameras off? Now there's your question. Ladies and gentlemen, who has the power to turn off the cameras inside of a jail? If you can find that person, you've actually found the real power structure in America. The 128 page report found that there was both negligence and misconduct, which created an environment that allowed him to kill himself and deprive his numerous victims, many of whom were underage girls, uh, of their ability to seek justice. Well, that, in fact, it did absolutely do. But these people, the, the Clintons, Bill Gates, not, not, like none of, none of these people, the, the, the royal family, none of these people ever cared about the the numerous victims. They, they were the perpetrators. This, this was what Jeffrey Epstein was to them. The Justice Department Office of Inspector General released a highly anticipated uh, report. Months before his death, the jail's special housing unit for high-profile prisoners, the disgraced financier's cellmate, told guards that Epstein had tried to hang himself after they found him with an orange cloth wrapped around his neck. So, that, so this is him trying to hang himself from this bed. See that? Jeffrey Epstein's a six-foot-tall dude, and that ain't going to do it. Tried to hang himself from this bed? No, I'm sorry. Do you, by the way, do you know how like hanging yourself works? Not to get a little too into the weeds here, but it's actually the drop that ends up severing your neck and killing you. That's why there are gallows. That's why when you, that's why people say hang them high, because that means you're gone, idiots. This is the image that they have in their report here. This little report. Epstein first told the prison that he thought his cellmate had tried to kill him, but later said he did not know what occurred and he did not want to talk about how he sustained his injuries. Oh, interesting. He spent the day on suicide watch and was cleared. Oh, okay. Got it. So they cleared him. They put him off suicide watch. That's how it happens. Just two more hours and no more suicide for you. Now investigations from both the FBI and Inspector General have not found evidence that support the homicide speculation. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check for Hillary Clinton's DNA? That's that's the most important question. Uh, while the OIG, the inspector general, determined that the staff engaged in significant misconduct, we did not uncover any evidence contradicting the FBI's determination regarding the absence of criminality in connection with the Epstein, the way that Epstein died. The report said we did not find, for example, evidence that anyone was present 
in the area when Ep- where Epstein was housed during his relevant time frame. And other than the inmates that were locked in their assigned cells, well, were they locked? Were the other inmates locked in their assigned cells? And here's the report here, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the report. This is apparently the, the murder weapon, you see. A photograph of the cloth tied into a noose recovered from Epstein's cell. <laughs> Psyops, psyops everywhere. Does that look like a uh, noose to you? Does that look like something that, did, th- did that look even remotely like a murder weapon to you? Does this look, is there any blood on that or any sign of any type of damage at all to a human neck that would lead to death? No, no, there's not. Look at this, look at this. Look at the amount of, look at the amount of material in there. Is this a Bed Bath & Beyond? What was this? Look at the amount of material in the cell. Look at this. What was he doing? This is, a, is this a spirit Halloween? Look at all that orange. Yeah. The entire report is a, a complete snow job and clown show. They were hoping that you just weren't paying attention. Luckily, uh, someone was paying attention. First off, uh, Jeffrey Epstein's major accomplice in all of this, Jelaine Maxwell, somebody who's inside of federal prison herself right now uh, said, oh yeah, Jeffrey Epstein was murdered. No, he didn't. I don't believe he did. I believe that he was uh, murdered. Well, I was shocked. And I wondered how it had happened. Because um, as far as I was concerned, he was going to, I was sure he was going to appeal and I was sure that he was covered under the non-prosecution agreement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, but I wasn't in the indictment. So I wasn't mentioned. I, I wasn't even one of the co conspirators He was murdered, says Jelaine Maxwell. What does what his old uh, butt buddy Bill Gates have to say about the murder? You know, I've said I regretted having those dinners. Uh, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing new on that. Is there a lesson for you, for anyone else looking looking at this? Well, he's dead. So, uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. Uh, oh, my God. You evil, evil. F- oh, my God. You evil donkey, Bill. What a sick, vicious man. Dude, people trust this man with their health. What a sick monster. You always have to be careful, you see. (laughs) Tucker Carlson talked to the person who was there, the actual medical professional there in the prison cell with Jeffrey Epstein, the guy who did the autopsy of Jeffrey Epstein that night. Wouldn't that guy, wouldn't that medical professional uh, be important to talk to? Not Bill Gates. (laughs) You always have to be careful. He's dead. (laughs) Doctor, thanks so much for coming on. If you wouldn't mind just summarizing for us what we know, what you know about Epstein's death. Well, I was present at the autopsy and there were uh, three fractures in the windpipe uh, that are much more typical of crush injury from homicidal strangulation than from hanging. There were particular hemorrhages in the eyes, again, more uh, typical of uh, uh, homicide. And uh, the ligature imprint on the neck didn't match the uh, ligature that was present in the cell made from a sheet. Uh, So I thought that uh, made it more likely uh, that this was a homicide than a suicide. but we never got to, to find out how the body was found. Was he found hanging or not, for example, because the two, the two guards were sleeping through that time. He was dead for a few hours before he was found. And uh, the uh, two guards never made a statement that, I, uh, that was released as to how the body was found. The body was just cut down and brought out to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Where are the congressional hearings on this? Uh, Dr. Bodden, I, I appreciate your honesty and your willingness to say that uh, on this show. It's great to see you tonight. Thank you. Good to see you. 
So again, it falls to Tucker Carlson in his now canceled, oh, I wonder why, uh, Tucker Carlson Tonight Show to ask these questions. The only man in all of media, the only outlet in all of media, the only people in all of media that even took the time to actually explain to us what happened that night was Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson created a schematic of the jail cell and went into great detail as to what actually happened that night. The cameras were turned off, the guards had fled, and while there's no evidence that anyone went in or out of the building, you don't need that. Who were the people in the cells around Jeffrey Epstein? You just push the little button, it's like straight out of Mission Impossible. You just push the little button, the jail cell swings open, and um, so does Jeffrey Epstein's at the same time. Pretty easy. Why is Tucker the only person who ever asked these questions? And you wonder why they had to take him off the air. Why? No one came in or out of the tier, Barr said. Therefore, Jeffrey Epstein killed himself. So let's consider that claim rationally. On the night of August 9th, Jeffrey Epstein was being held in the special housing unit of the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan, the most secure part of the city's federal lockup. It would be physically impossible for a stranger to get in and out of this facility without an electronic pass and without being seen by the countless cameras in place between the street and the locked ninth floor of the building. So if Jeffrey Epstein was murdered, he was not murdered by an intruder, someone who came into the tier. He was murdered by someone on his own cell block, obviously. There were seven other cells on Epstein's tier, and each one housed dangerous criminals. So if you were looking for a killer, you would figure out who was in those cells. But no one seems to have thought of that or done it. The Bureau of Prisons refused to provide us with a list of the inmates on Epstein's tier. It's not clear how many of them were even interviewed by investigators, despite the fact that some of them were transferred out of the facility shortly after Epstein's death. That's a baffling oversight. 